This is at Riggins and Lantana. For Eddie Schmidt and his family, days like these are hard to come by. Today is one of those days, as Schmidt's son, Mark Goncalves, and his husband, Ozzy Medeiros, exchange laughs at their restaurant, Table 26 in West Palm Beach. This is when we felt Mark was the healthiest. Mark is addicted to opioids. It all began when Mark got infected with MRSA at 17 years old, and a doctor gave him Vicodin to ease the pain. That prescription was supposed to last me a month, and it was gone in four days. Mark has been in and out of 14 treatment centers and sober homes over the last seven years. If I'm not high, I'm either dope sick or I'm, I'm miserable. It's been heartbreaking to to just kind of watch this unravel over the last decade. Palm Beach County Mayor Melissa McKinley says she hears these stories all too often. One year I spent more than six million dollars just rolling out ambulances on more than 5,000 overdose calls. That's the tip of the iceberg. McKinley has fought on the front lines of the opioid epidemic in Palm Beach County. At some point you have to say enough is enough and we need to hold those who are accountable accountable. The county is suing 29 pharmaceutical companies, including Walmart, Walgreens, Johnson & Johnson, and Teva Pharmaceuticals, for its role in the opioids crisis. What we found was a systemic, intentional pattern of misleading doctors, hospitals, state and federal regulators, and that they essentially changed the medical practice and the way doctors and patients view opioids by lying and misleading the addictive nature of it. John Paul Portel is with the Ferraro Law Firm and has a background in litigation against Big Pharma and the tobacco industry. They are one of the law firms representing the county in this case. They're all responsible because each one of them played a significant role. Each one of them chose to look the other way while earning billions of dollars at the cost of Palm Beach County's taxpayers. In the 266-page complaint, it starts off saying this case is about one thing, corporate greed. The hope is by winning this suit, they can use that reclaimed money to recover and provide treatment services, education, and tools to first responders to help fight the opioid crisis in the county. I don't want to see any more lives lost like that. We reached out to 13 of the 29 companies for comment. Of those, three gave us a statement. The Healthcare Distribution Alliance writes the idea that distributors are responsible for the number of opioid prescriptions written defies common sense and lacks understanding of how the pharmaceutical supplies chain actually works and is regulated. Those bringing lawsuits would be better served addressing the root causes rather than trying to redirect blame through litigation. Janssen Pharmaceutical says our actions in the marketing and promotion of these medicines were appropriate and responsible. The labels for our prescription opioid pain medications provide information about their risks and benefits, and the allegations made against our company are baseless and unsubstantiated. Endo Pharmaceutical says we deny the allegations contained in this lawsuit and intend to vigorously defend the company. Endo is dedicated to providing safe, quality products to patients in need, and we share the public concern regarding opioid abuse and misuse. We are confident um, that we will prevail in the end. We are confident that we're going to bring justice to Palm Beach County. And justice to families like Mark, who fear losing their son to addiction every single day. They're taking people that we love very much away from us. I want to see him graduate. I want to see him on his wedding day. But they fight on. Our philosophy as a family is that love will win. And laughter. Shock treatment's not <laughs> Doesn't hurt either. Yeah. Shock treatment got me this far. Jamil Donith, your South Florida.